This is the x -Pack. This is a paddle a ton of people recommend still to this day. It's a great budget option, especially when you're starting out in pickleball. But this is also an x -Pack Pro. It's their new model that is in a wide body shape. And this is a different beast altogether. So let's get into it. Here are the specs. So the wide body x -Pack Pro has a carbon fiber surface and it feels very much like what we're used to with the elongated x -Pack. Its shape is of course a wide body. It's a Gen 1 style paddle, so it's not thermoformed or anything like that. It's just your traditional sandwich paddle. It's a 16 millimeter core, so it's a control core for sure. The length is 15.75 inches. The width is eight inches. The handle is five inches in length, so it's not the best handle for two-handed backhands, but the grip circumference is, yes, a 4.25 inch circumference handle. So just like the original x -Pack Pro, this has a beefy handle for normal size hands, and that's something that I really appreciate. Finally, the weight of this comes in around eight ounces and the price ranges from 80 to hundred dollars. This is something you buy on Amazon. And so there's always coupons and all these different things. It's so hard to keep track, but that seems to be where it's at. Okay, so x -Pack is known for their elongated paddle, for being a budget option, for being a really good controlled paddle, for being a really good first upgrade, first real paddle. However, I actually think they're getting harder and harder to recommend that elongated paddle because so many companies are bringing paddles to the market that are very similar in specs, that elongated shape with the carbon fiber surface, the durability, all of that, but they're being very, very competitive at the price point. And so I actually think the elongated x -Pack is becoming a harder recommendation. However, I don't think there are quite as many companies doing the same thing, but in the standard shape or the wide body shape. And so that's why I wanted to look at this paddle. Just like the OG x -Pack, the elongated version, this one has a great surface. It's got a great core, great control, great to learn the dinking game, great to learn placement. It's just got all those good attributes, but it also has this different kind of shape. And this sort of, this shorter shape, this standard shape, wide body shape, it allows you to have faster hands at the kitchen, it allows you to move around. And that like, it's just fun having those firefights, being able to learn that quick pace game is just a lot of fun. And there aren't a lot of companies that are doing sort of the carbon fiber face, like wide body paddles, like there just aren't as many out there. Um, carbon has one, of course, but it's more expensive. And so this I think is really worth a look. And one other pro is x -Pack gives you a great neoprene paddle cover. Like this thing, if you get this, even if you upgrade your paddle, hold on to this thing because paddles, they don't all come with these anymore. So you're gonna be reusing this thing for sure. So that's a great little bonus. The potential downside of this paddle is its shape doesn't allow you to get as much help with your serves or your baseline drives. Um, you have to really be able to use your mechanics and hit hit those deep yourself, bring that force yourself. Um, this shape just isn't good for that. Um, you could definitely experiment with adding weight and whatnot, but out of the box, you know, you should have some experience um, doing baseline hits or drives or, or using the mechanics to produce your own power. The elongated x pack will help you out with that, but the standard shape, the wide body shape, you're not gonna get a lot of help. So this is a paddle you have to order from Amazon. And so there are some pros to that. Uh, if you have an issue, returns are pretty easy, but there are also some cons. For the elongated version of the x -Pack, you know, you'll hit that link and it will show you this one if they're out of stock. So you really have to make sure you're getting the right paddle, the one you think you're getting. So just be aware of that. Finally, just to summarize, I really recommend this paddle for someone that's entering pickleball that has some paddle sport background, that knows how to generate power, that doesn't really need the help at the serves or the baseline drives. And then they'll have a ton of fun at the kitchen, firefights and having fast hands. This, you'll get to learn all the placement, all the controls, sort of how to move around the pickleball and just like, you'll get to learn all of that, but you also have that speed out of the box. So if you don't need help with power, this is definitely something I recommend. Now, if you do need help with power, I'd recommend looking at the elongated x pack or other paddles like that, uh, other Gen 1 paddles. I'm actually gonna be reviewing some more of those. 
And then of course, if you're confident, I would also recommend maybe dipping your toe into the Thermoform paddles. There are a lot of those paddles on my uh, channel, so be sure to check those out. And those will give you even more help on the power department. All right, well, I'll leave a link in the description for this paddle. Make sure if this is the one you want, make sure you see the white lettering. They might link to the other x pack so just make sure you're getting the one you want. I'm gonna also leave some links and codes to some other cool paddle companies. Be sure to check those out. Be sure to like and subscribe. All that helps me, helps out the channel. And most importantly, I hope you get to pickle soon. And remember, it's about having fun.